Hey, welcome to Android Pit. I am Bastian, and today I want to talk to you about roaming, a term most of you should have heard about before. But what does roaming actually mean? Well, literally, it means wandering or moving around. In mobile communications, though, it means that you're using a device in a host network and not in your parent network, so the network you're using every day at home. There are two types of roaming, international and national roaming. And these two situations are also divided into two types of roaming, voice and text and data roaming. How does roaming work? Well, the whole process is divided into multiple steps. The main ones being location updates to access the visited network and mobile terminal call for forwarding calls. Data roaming also uses a lot of steps and there are a lot of terms you would need to look up in the dictionary, so that would be too long for this video. But in the end, it really doesn't matter to you as a user if you're voice or data roaming. What are location updates? The whole process of roaming begins when the phone is turned on, the airplane mode is turned off, or the network is scanned for the first time. The device needs to be connected to a network, and since it can't connect to the parent network, it's looking for a host network. To be able to do that, the host network is asking for certain information from the parent network. And as soon as it received the information and the authorization, the user will be able to connect to the host network, which will then forward everything to the parent network. What is MTC? This term describes when a call is made while roaming. The whole procedure is very complicated and there are a lot of terms with names that are simply too hard to remember. All you need to know is that every user is getting an MSISDN, Mobile Station International Subscriber Directory Number. With this number, you can always tell where the phone call is actually coming from, which operator, which country, and which user. What is national roaming? National roaming means, well, you're roaming while you're in your own country. Bigger carriers like AT&T and Verizon have their own networks and they do not need you to roam. But if you're living in a rural area and you're using a smaller carrier, it's absolutely possible that they use the networks of the bigger carriers. There's actually a second type of national roaming. If you're using a mobile virtual network operator, also known as virtual operators, you're always using a network from the big carriers because they simply don't have their own. How about international roaming? Well, international roaming works pretty much in the same way. There's a host network that connects to the parent network and forwards all your calls and your data. What else is important? If you want to use roaming while you're staying in a foreign country, always make sure to check your terms and conditions of your contract before you leave so you know what exactly is included. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe and hit the little notification button so you're always up to date to our videos. This was it for this video and see you next time.